Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Megan, and today I am going over ways that Carrie stays healthy eating while she's on the road. It's hard to stay healthy when you're on the road, when you're either traveling for pleasure or for work or on tour like Carrie. Junk food always seems like the easiest option. But there are many things that you can do to make sure that you always have healthy foods available. One of Carrie's tips is to stop at a grocery store on the way to the hotel especially if you're going to be there for a few days if you're vegetarian like carrie then hotels usually don't have many vegetarian options usually they are all the food that are vegetarian usually have lots of carbs like some pastas and stuff like that hotel restaurants are usually really expensive and so salty who wouldn't want to save money while at the same time doing their body a favor? Many hotel rooms have a mini fridge in it and a microwave and you can always request one before you get there. And they may have a microwave down in the lobby where they sometimes sell the snacks. Okay, now I'm going to show you some of Carrie's favorite things that she looks for at the grocery store that she can take with her on the road. I have a bag over here with lots of little goodies. I went to my local Kroger grocery store and they didn't have everything that Carrie recommended, but they did have quite a few of the things. And the first thing Carrie recommends are oatmeal cups. Um, she recommends that they don't have a lot of sugar in them. She, she really likes these Bob Bob's Red Hill um, oatmeal. She said a lot of times they come with flax seed or other um, additives, healthy additives. Some are even gluten free. Let's, the ones I got are, um, this one is gluten free free and it is an oatmeal. It's blueberry hazelnut with flax and chia seed. And this one is also gluten free and it's apple pieces and cinnamon with flax and chia. These are the only two that they had at my store so I picked up both of them. But all you have to do is add water to the fill line and stir for three minutes or Stand, let it stand for three minutes and then stir and enjoy. Or you can add cold water to the fill line and stir. Microwave on one minute and let it stand for two minutes. Stir again and enjoy. So those are the oatmeal cups that Carrie recommends. Then she also recommends just like fruit and apples or uh, mixed berries. Um, they're never a bad choice to add to your breakfast or as a snack. Next, Carrie likes the pre-made salads. I got one right here. She says not the one with like iceberg lettuce with lots of cheese and ranch. She wants the one with lots of greens and veggies. Greens like romaine, arugula, spinach, kale, spring greens. And she also likes the ones that come with the dressing on the side. Um, unfortunately, this is probably not exactly the ones that she uh, would have recommended. Um, but she likes this out one because the uh, dressing so she can put on how much dressing she likes on there. So she likes it, the ones that come with the dressing. But uh, unfortunately, this one has bacon instead of chicken. But... Um, the ones that came with chicken was either a Caesar, which actually I was surprised the Caesar didn't have that many calories as, um, as I thought it was. And it actually had quite a bit of protein. 
that rec um, Carrie recommends having is lots of protein. Um, but it came with ranch dressing, so or Caesar dressing. So I was like, I guess I'd rather go with the balsamic vinaigrette, and maybe the the bacon just wouldn't be too bad. And this one isn't that bad. It is only 290 calories and 15 grams of protein. It has spinach with bacon and spinach, baby spinach, bacon, dried cranberries, and Parmesan cheese with balsamic vinegar. So that is my option. And after I started, I found these, I actually, um, when I did the rest of my shopping, I saw where they actually have in another section uh, more, I guess you could say, fresh salads. But I decided to go with that one because I wasn't going to eat it right then. But the fresh shallots even looked even better. They actually did have the chicken. They had some boiled eggs with it. And they did look a little healthier. But um, I stuck with that just because I was not going to be eating it for a few days. And I felt like that one was going to last a little bit longer. And if you're a meat eater, like I just said, um, so you can find salads that come with the chicken or some salmon on it. I didn't see any with salmon, but I'm sure that there are some, maybe the healthier grocery stores have them out there. Um, but you also, boiled eggs are a good option for the, um, pro, for your protein. They, you can, usually the store, they already have them pre-cooked and peeled for you. Okay, next is sandwiches and wraps. Most grocery stores will have a whole section with a lot of pre-made sandwiches. If you're at a good healthy grocery store, you can find some that are made with tofu and are organic and healthy. And as always, you want to make you want to read that label and make sure it isn't loaded with mayo and cheese but it's full of veggies. Next is hummus and veggies. A lot of stores have pre-made ones that are snack size. This is the one my store had. It is snap peas and hummus. And it is 70 calories and it has three grams of protein. If you've never had hummus before, it is a very savory taste and it it's pretty satisfying um, it doesn't look this one doesn't look um, like much they, they didn't even really give you that much but um, I kind of it kind of to me kind of tastes like refried beans <laughs> but both the hummus and veggies are very filling and they will satisfy your hunger, especially if you are a late night snacker. Next, my store, or at least I didn't see it, does not have it, is called Karen's Naturals Just Veggies. If you love to snack on like chips and popcorn, this would be a great option for you. Or as Carrie likes to say, swap. These are simply just freeze dried vegetables. She says that they are crunchy and super yummy. This brand also has fruit, which is a great additive that you can add to your oatmeal in the morning. Next is called Enlightened Roasted Broad Bean Chips. These are so much better for you than chips, but they still have that satisfying crunch. Next is Rhythm Superfood and Kale Chips. Carrie likes the ranch and nacho flavors. Next are primal strips. These are vegan jerky strips made of seitan. I'm not sure it's S-E-I-T-A-N. Next are raw almonds. They are great. You can buy them at the grocery store. This uh, the little snack size, which is great because it gives you just enough that you need. Um, I have like three different kinds right here. Um, the first one are these. Um, they are lightly salted roasted almonds. Um, low sodium because they do taste better with salt. You sh <laughs> you're actually recommended not to have salt on them. They're better for you. But um, 
even with a little salt, I actually think these kind of taste like dirt. But, um, I do grab, when I'm really hungry and it's not time for me to eat, I do grab a, like a handful and, um, eat those and they satisfy my hunger. I also have these honey roasted almonds that has sea salt in them too. Um, for about a fourth of a cup, it's 160 calories and there's five grams of protein. And then I also have this one right here and it is honey cinnamon and it is also 160 calories with five um, grams of protein. This one, and those are both for a fourth a cup. This one is for a fourth a cup. It's actually 190. I wonder why this one is more. And But it has six grams of protein. So the more healthy ones, it seems like, have more calories. That doesn't really make a sense to me, but I will take it because I like the flavored ones a lot better. I'm actually very addicted to these. These actually, they're um, at my Kroger, my grocery store, there's actually a lot of flavors there. So, sorry for the car in the background making noise. Okay, hopefully I'll just, I'll just try to talk over it. Anyway, um, these almonds contain the mega fatty acids that you that you, your body need and also fiber to help satisfy you for a while but make sure just to grab a handful because even the healthiest foods can take a turn for the worse if you overindulge okay next are bars um i got a lot of bars <laughs> these can be tricky items Mini bars are high in sugar and low in protein, even if they have protein in the name. Despite what the package may say, most of them don't do much to keep you going. They'll spike up your blood sugar, will give you a quick pick-me-up, but most likely it'll make you crash pretty quickly too. There are some bars out there that can be beneficial and be a healthy option to a well-balanced diet. They can be kept in your briefcase or a purse and potentially keep you from derailing your whole day by ordering that greasy fast food. Just make sure that the bars that you do grab have a lot of fat and fiber and not a lot of ingredients that you can't pronounce. Here are a few that Carrie recommends. You can try different ones and try them out to see which ones you like. The first one she recommends are no cow bars and these are Carrie's favorite. I've never had these before. They have tons of uh, fiber. Uh, let's see, I got the peanut butter chocolate chip, the chocolate chip cookie dough, and the chocolate fudge brownie. And for fiber, they have 15 grams in this one, 17 in the peanut butter chocolate chip, and then 16 in this chocolate chip cookie dough one. These will apparently fill you up. And the protein in these are the chocolate chip cookie dough has 21, the peanut butter chocolate chip has 21, and the chocolate fudge brownie has 21 also. And they seem to be all dairy free and only one gram of sugar. And they are all vegan. Um, some of the two that Carrie said are her favorite are the peanut butter chocolate chip and the chocolate fudge brownie. She also likes the mint cocoa chip and the vanilla caramel, but my store did not have those. So I will have to look for those next time. Next are Garden Life Protein Bars. My store didn't have these, but Carrie said that there are many different flavors. Carrie said that she likes this brand for other foods also, especially the protein powder. All right, the next is the RX Bar. Um, I actually tried these when I was pregnant. I wasn't a 
huge fan of them. I mean, they taste, they actually tasted really good. They were very flavorful, but they just have a very taffy taste, very chewy. And at the time, I, that's not what I wanted. But um, this has 12 grams of protein and it has three egg whites, 14 peanuts and dates, and it says no BS. And I got the peanut butter chocolate one. These are very simple. There's not a lot of ingredients. Just like I said, what I just said. It just says dates, peanuts, egg whites, chocolate, natural flavors, sea salt, and cocoa. It is low sugar and fruit and nuts. Let's see. Um, sugar, it has total sugar is 14 grams. Which kind of seems like a lot to me, but Carrie said it's not. Let's see. Compared to the no cows, yeah, I said it has one gram. Okay, Carrie. <laughs> well, maybe it's just this one that has a lot of sugar, but yeah. Next are Kind Bars. These are made with recogni uh, recognizable, healthy ingredients. Simple ingredients. These contain a lot of almonds and taste really good. I got, um, this kind energy dark chocolate peanut butter it has 10 grams of protein and 35% less sugar than a leading energy bar. Uh, sustained energy from 100% whole grains. And it's gluten free. And it has 250 calories in this little bar. I don't think this is necessarily the one that um, Carrie was me meaning. I think she was more meaning, let me find it. Probably, um, well, these are the more the more popular ones. Um, this is actually my favorite flavor. My favorite flavor is dark chocolate cherry cashew. I could eat this all the time. Um, it has 160 calories and four grams of protein and 11 sugars. And let's see, fiber is six grams. But then there's also the I saw these kind protein from Real Food Crunchy Peanut Butter. So, it's this says, good source of protein, eight grams of protein from nuts, high in fiber, um, 18 grams fat per bar, low sodium, and zero gram trans fat. Gluten-free, low gl gl glycemic <laughs> index, no genetically engineered ingredients, no, no artificial flavors or sweeteners. Sorry, I can't talk. It has 250 calories, but has 17 carbs, 6 grams of fiber, 7 sh grams of sugar, and 12 grams of protein. And just recently at the grocery store, I was scanning the ice cream section, but I came across these kind frozen dark chocolate almond sea salt. They have 180 calories, they're plant based. It says ingredients you can see and pronounce. Um, one hundred one per one number one ingredient is almonds. Um, get one hundred and eighty calories, fourteen grams of fat, sixteen carbs, eight grams of sugar, and three grams of protein. So, um, if you're looking for a little sweet treat. I feel like these would be the way to go. I haven't tried them yet, but my husband has, and he really, really likes them. So, there you go. Next are Quest Bars. If you're okay with um, whey, the protein in milk, then you might really like these. They have lots of protein and fiber and a lot of flavors to choose from. My store had quite a few. They had the Quest Peanut Butter Brownie Smash. I think my husband really likes these Quest Bars. I can't remember if I've had one or not before. But this has 20 grams of protein, 190 calories, and 20, oh, I said that already, um, two grams of sugar, and 14 grams of fiber. And, Then I got this cinnamon roll one. And I only got like a few of these. There, there were a lot of flavors. I almost bought them all, but I didn't. 
Uh, I'll be going back to get more, but um, there's 180 calories in this one, 20 grams of protein, 15 grams of fiber, and 1 gram of sugar. And then I got the oatmeal chocolate chip flavor. It has 190 calories, 20 grams of protein, 1 gram of sugar, and 16 grams of fiber. All right. <laughs> um, next is not exactly what Carrie was talking about, but if you're kind of craving a cookie, the Quest also comes with Quest protein cookies. Um, the softened chewy cookie, it says. This is chocolate chip and it has 15 grams of protein, less than one gram of sugar, uh, four net carbs. Um, let's see, 250 calories, 17 grams of fat, and 15 grams of protein. I got quite a few of these. <laughs> Peanut butter. <laughs> Um, this one has 220 calories, 13 grams of fat, 12 grams of fiber, 1 gram of sugar, and 15 grams of protein. And I got my husband one too, because he really likes chocolate chips, so I got him one. And then I got double chocolate chip, and it includes 220. 40 calories, 15 grams of fat, 11 grams of fiber, and 15 grams of protein. Then I got the peanut butter chocolate chip, and that is 220 calories, 11 grams of fiber, and 16 grams of protein, and only one um, gram of sugar. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog snoring in the corner. Sorry about that. Okay, the last bar, um, Carrie actually didn't mention, but I ate these when I was pregnant because I had gestational diabetes, and this helped me get from meal to meal, and these have so many flavors, and they're probably one of the best tasting bars that I had. They're not, you know, 100% great, but they're probably the best protein bar that I had, besides the Kind Bar. The Kind Bars are really good, um, but this was just, I, these bars I'm about to show you are just practically what I lived on. They're the Power Crunch Protein Energy Bars. I'd never, I don't remember having this flavor, so I'm excited, but I've tried all the other flavors and they're really, really good. Um, let's see, they have 220 calories. 14 grams of fat, 10 carbs, fiber, less than one gram. So that's not great, but um, total sugar is 6 gram and protein is 13. So if you want a good tasting bar, this is the one to go with. Next is these Paleo Goods Paleo Crunch. My store did not have these, but they are a grain-free granola bar that is mostly made of nuts and seeds, and they it is supposedly supposed to be very yummy. They don't have a lot of sugar, and if you like granola bars, Carrie said that these could be your next best friend. <laughs> next are microwavable burritos and bowls. These are just like bars. They can vary on them being healthy and having good nutrition and having the good ingredients in them. Some are all right and some are posing as nice. It's better to have these so you can just grab them than going through the drive through for the junk food. Remember, this is all about convenience and making the healthy swaps. Even though they are a bit processed, these microwave burritos and bowls are going to be a lot healthier than the restaurant meals and better for you than the room service. Some of Carrie's favorite burritos are the Sweet Earth Burritos. She said the Big Sur 
particularly the Big Sur ones and the and the Protein Loves Burrito. Um, mine had four different um, ones, flavors, um, but I decided to go with the Big Sur Breakfast Burrito. It has a delicious blend of roasted potatoes, red pepper, smoked that seaton and seasoned tofu. And it has 24 grams of protein and 6 grams of fiber and 390 grams of or calories and 3 grams of sugar. So here's this one. And there's also I got the also the veggie Baja breakfast burrito. It has a nourishing blend of cage-free eggs, pinto beans, chipotle, sea tin, satan, green chilies, jack of Jack and cheddar cheese. It's 23 grams of protein and 6 grams of fiber. And it says it's a chipotle scramble. And it also has 40 grams or 40 calories. And 20, oh, I said 23 grams of protein already. So here's this one. But it looks pretty good. Carrie says that all the flavors are actually really good and she could eat these for any meal of the day. And they have lots and lots of protein. Next is Amy's Kitchen Bowls. And I was able to pick one of these up. Um, this is actually one of her favorites. She said, um, especially the brown rice. This is the brown rice, black eyed peas and veggies. And a flavorful tamari ginger sauce. It's plant-based, it said. It has 290 calories and 40 carbs, 5 grams of fiber, and 2 grams of sugar, and 9 grams of protein. She also likes the brown rice and veggie bowl. It has tofu, brown rice, and veggies. These are just a few things that Carrie likes to look for, but Every grocery store is different and you just have to do the best that you can with what you got. Carrie promises that once you get into the healthy habits and start learning how to read those labels and with these skills you'll be able to master any grocery store or any travel situation. You'll be able to learn what you like and what you dislike and you'll be able to stay on track while you are away from home. It is so worth it. All right, if you like this video and I gave you some healthy options so when you're out traveling next time, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss any of my videos. All right, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.